Well, being a mommy isn't easy. I I'm always trying to find that balance between raising children who are good citizens of the world and children who know they are loved beyond belief because I really want to create that lifetime bond with my boys. Adria Mannery has written Mommy Magic, a genuine and powerful blend of practical tips, inspiration, and encouragement for moms. She joins us this morning as part of our book author series. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to have you here. As I was looking through the book and, and reading all these beautiful stories, I thought, you know, life is so hectic. It's so hard to stay connected. She's written this book with busy moms in mind. <laughs> and you were absolutely <laughs> right because I did it on purpose. Right, right. And you know, it's just such a difficult world right now because everything's so fast paced and it's fueled by this nonstop technology. And so I wrote it so that moms could pick it up on the run and grab an idea for the day, or when they do have a moment, which I know is rare, they can sit down and, and relax and be encouraged by the different stories. And, and that's the thing that's so beautiful about the book mm. because there are so many different stories. It's really overflowing with all these enchanting, you know, suggestions and these heartwarming um, stories and activities and poetry. It, it really does touch on every aspect of a, of a mother-child relationship, doesn't it? It really does. And, and, you know, this is the third edition now, and I'm happy to say it's a bestseller. But the thing that I've enjoyed the most is connecting with the moms. Oh, and, yeah. and, and they've said the same thing about how unique it is because it touches on the emotional side as well as the physical reality that we have to come up with something new and fun every day. You know, as, speaking of that, I was looking through the book and I thought, gosh, there's so many wonderful little anecdotes and things mm -hmm. in here. And I was trying to pick out something to read or something that I could share with the audience. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to let Adria do that. <laughs> I cannot decide <laughs> what I like at all. So is there anything in the book that kind of stands out to you or that you would like to share with our audience? Oh gosh, there are so many things because it's, my kids are all through it, even though I interviewed more than 100 moms to oh, gain wow. all of the ideas. There are over 500 in there. But I think my favorite is where it started and that is when my son Dane um, came home with us one night. Well, we had had a beautiful day. One of those days where no one was arguing and no spills, you know, I know it's rare, yeah. but we got home, my husband had fixed dinner. I mean, it was just a beautiful day and evening. So I was trying to explain to him just how special the day was and I paused which I know is <laughs> unusual for me because I'm a talker but when I paused my little boy six year old six years old looked up at me and said it's because of the magic mommy mm -hmm. and I now you relate to it but but at the time there was no Harry Potter or anything but I thought well it has to be wizards or fantasy of some sort so I asked him I said what what kind of magic honey and he looked up at me he said the magic that's called mommy <gasps> I think I, I would have started crying. Oh, I did. I just That's started. when I told him about happy tears because he was wondering oh, why I was crying. But mommy, but, I told you something good. Oh, why are yeah, you crying? Exactly. Oh, how but sweet. that night I started writing Mommy Magic. Isn't that something how those yeah. things happen? You know, one of the things, and you and I were talking a little bit about this, that's very important for me as my children grow is to be present and to really be there because I know this window I have with them is so short. And one of the things my mom says is that she didn't realize how important being present was until we were grown ups. So yes. I wanted to be present now based upon what she said and knowing how important it is. That's probably one of the biggest gifts we can give our children, right? Oh, it is. It is. We live in this fast-paced society like I was talking about. And and I, I would hate when I dropped my kids off to, at school and you would see these moms and dads doing the Hollywood kiss, yeah. you know, and then running off. Well, one of the best things you can do is hug your child until they let go, that type of thing. But so often now with both parents mm -hmm. working, you can't be there. So I came up with a little invention um, several years ago yeah. when my own husband had um, gotten sick and we yeah. had to go away for treatments. And, and so we were gone for two weeks, but we recorded little stories and I love yous and good nights mm -hmm. on a tape recorder. So yeah. when I started writing Mommy Magic, I thought it'd be really nice if it was surrounded with something soft. So mm -hmm. I came up with the Magic Whispers pillow and uh, on the back it will read, Magic Whispers from the heart, keep us close when we're apart. Mm, yeah. How nice. And on that pillow, you can actually record. Yes, yeah. yes. I'm, you know, and that's the best thing about it. Yeah. It's a secret magical pillow because it has a cord inside. So most of the toys you see like this, they only allow 20 seconds or 30 seconds. But with this, you can plug it into your own digital recorder and say whatever you want. Girl, I would be saying, OK, <laughs> it's 8.30. Go to bed. Did you brush your teeth? Did you wash your face? Is your homework done? Didn't that, I say go to bed? I like that <laughs> Like they could see me actually through the pillow. <laughs> yes, yes. And you can put your pic picture here like. <laughs> exactly, with me pointing yeah, like yeah. this. Oh. What is the most important magic? Uh, you think uh, that we can give our children, Adria? Oh, that's such an easy one. And that is the magic of love and, and unconditional love. And it's really 
the heartbeat of every page of the book because mm -hmm. we need to show them love. We can love them unconditionally and, and show them in certain ways, but we really needed to make sure that every day we show them, we put that love in action. I think that's a great way to end it. And thank you so much for coming by and sharing this information in the little love pillow <laughs> with us. So cute. I appreciate it, Adria. Good to meet you. You. you too. Wonderful book. And again, the book is called Mommy Magic, Creative Activities and Inspiring Stories to Deepen the Bond with Your Child. For more information on Adria or the book, please visit the website, themagicoflifeseries.com.